Native American? Okay, yeah, Native Americans, tribal colleges, and the, in a sense, what does the word tribal mean? What is a tribal? Like it means like a group, an Indian group, or a group exactly. of Indians. Exactly, a Native American Indian group. So these really, so both of you are kind of talking about the same thing. Native Americans, tribal colleges. Okay, tribal refers to Native Americans. Um, what about the word Indian? Is that a reference to this? Yes. Yeah, this is a reference. Um, tribal colleges and the days. If you want to do this, you don't have to, but it just kind of emphasizes how many times this is referred to. Tribal culture, Native American students. Okay, so what did people write down for the topic of this? Tribal colleges. Or, and again, yeah, By Native American. Is it the you don't just want to put this. Wait, does it focus on bison too? Uh huh? Does it focus on the bison too? Do you see the word bison in here right. anywhere? Mm -hmm. Can I just put this? Oh, bull. I'm sorry, bull. Is there the word the bull? How many times does that appear? Uh. Oh. Just one repeat? time? Uh, yeah. So that's not repeated throughout. What we're looking for is what's repeated or referred to throughout, Louise. Um, but wouldn't um, um, City Bowl College be um, considered um, tribal college? It is, yeah. So these, all of these are the same thing. We don't want to pull out City Bowl College itself. We can't say this is about City Bowl College. But this is a reference to this. All of these, Sitting Bull College, Little Big Horn in Montana, both of these are references to that. So it's one of our things, but it's not, it's not about these two colleges. Does that make sense? Because they're, specifically, they're only mentioned. I need to this thing. I don't know why they didn't design this so that a full page couldn't move up here. <laughs> okay. So is this, can we put this? Um, no, why not? Why doesn't that work? It's too, yeah, this actually, it's only really mentioned, this is mentioned twice, so it's part of it, but this is too broad. Native Americans is too broad. This is talking specifically, this is part of it, but it's talking specifically about, yeah, you've got to narrow it down a little bit, okay? Does that make sense? Okay, and again, there are different ways to say this. Tribal colleges would work. Colleges for Native Americans would work. There isn't one correct answer. What I often find that people do when we reach this exercise is they they cross out a perfectly good answer to write this one. <laughs> this is not necessarily the only answer, so trust yourself, okay? Now, the other thing about this homework, remember the business of taking away the scaffolding, and this is very important because students get, they say, oh, well, Miss Penny didn't do that, so I don't need to do it, but remember, read the directions. You will be graded on both your annotating, highlighting, and your answer. So if you turn this in and it just looks like this, I'm going to mark you off. Because what didn't you do? You didn't do this. I know. Okay? You, in other words, one of the reasons, remember I mentioned this before, one of the reasons I use these handouts instead of just having you look in the book is because I'm giving you this room to write over here. Otherwise, I could just say, do exercise 10 on page 386, and you could just write down 1, 2, 3, 4, and just write down topics. You have to be doing this. We're not leaving that behind. 
okay? So what about our other stuff? We've seen, that, we've seen what it's about. Um, do we see a reversal transition? Yes. Yes, there's a reversal transition here. Um, do we see a list? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. There's a, yeah, there's a list of what they do, right? There's a list of what they do. They, um, and the, there's also the word also. Yes, and the good. Okay, then there's that addition transition. Okay? Right. So I want to see that you're doing this, okay? And making, doesn't have to be a whole lot, but give me some kind of idea that you are making a list of what you see, just so you don't get out of the habit of it. Okay? If you don't write anything over here, you won't get full credit, even though you got the right answer there. Okay. What about this one? Okay, sapphires. Anybody know what color sapphires are? They're, they're blue. blue. They're yeah. blue. They're yeah. They're different. They're from mines and yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. So caves. So we're seeing sapphires. <laughs> And, whoops, that's what I'm trying to do. All right. Um, but does it tell us what they look like in the paragraph? Does it tell us how people use them? Yeah, the other thing, Mark is right, the other thing that's mentioned is the mining of them. It's talking more about the mining than it is the popularity. It doesn't talk about how much they cost. It doesn't talk about who buys them what kind of jewelry they're using, how much they're worth, okay? Yeah, the thing that's going throughout here is mining sapphires, the miner, um, he, that's the miner, the miner, the miner, the sapphires, okay? So, what's, is there a list here? Do we see a list? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. This is pretty good. Yeah. This is yeah. This is pretty. When once you see that, you think, oh, good. This is going to be a pretty easy list. What type of list is it? It's a process. Yeah. This it is shows the, how things process. are happening. How? Yeah. Like how, how the whole to. process. Good. Yeah. How to? Um, so is it just? Can we just say the topic is? This, or is there something else going on there? Is there something else the mentioned? Process. What? Process. The process. Yeah, the process. So this is the, you could say the process of, but there's actually something else. The danger. Yeah. The danger? Yes. Or, yeah. or another topic could be, Oh, sapphire, sapphires and how they're dug out? Yeah, that's the mining. That's the same as mining. Okay, but Sam and, and um, Luis said the other thing. It's this. Dangerous, okay. Now, you think, well, I don't see the word dangerous mentioned again, but are there references to it? <coughs> yeah. <coughs> um. Yeah, this right. word, treacherous, means treacherous. the same thing, okay? And then, here's the other thing about this one. This is a little more sophisticated here. You have to think about, again, if you make this list, 40-foot pit, then what does he do? He digs a pit 40 feet deep. What happens when you dig in sandy earth? Is that always safe? Yeah, the, sand, the earth can slide in on you. Okay, so this, digging down 40 feet in sandy earth, is a reference to danger, right? Okay, when he reaches a layer of gravel, so he's going, he goes down 40 feet, and again, a picture might help. And remember, there's all this sandy dirt on top of you, okay? So you dig down 40 feet, 
Then you start going this way, right? He begins digging sideways. Is this going to be particularly safe <laughs> to do? <laughs> no, because all this sand might come down on you. So this is a reference to danger. Is that on a beach or like where would that be? Could be anywhere though. The soil around here is sandy. Yeah, this is considered sandy. It doesn't look like sand, but it's considered sandy. Partly because it is near the beach, but there's sandy earth in many places. Okay, then he removes rocks, goes sideways. How do you remove rocks from a situation like that? What are you doing with those rocks? You've got these rocks here. You're having to take them all the way back up here. Again, that's not a particularly safe <laughs> function, right? Okay, then he hauls them to the river. That's probably not terribly. Why is that not safe, though, exactly? Like, well, what could happen? but you have to think about what you're doing. You have to visualize what you're doing here. You're digging down 40 feet. And then you're bringing these rocks back up 40 feet. How are you doing that? What's the possibility that? Using happen? like a rope to lift yeah. the rocks up? So what happens if that rope breaks? See what I'm saying? There's some, we have to think about what's going on. Think into it. Okay. What's dangerous about this last one? Finally, different kind of danger. Kind of a oh, there could be robberies or someone can try to steal yeah. it from you or... So uh, throughout here, even though it doesn't say the actual word, dangerous and treacherous are kind of the same thing. But there's danger throughout here. So the process of mining sapphires or just mining sapphires, how do we get that idea of danger in there? Okay, I'm so glad Louise said that because that's what we need to talk about. This is the, this is not right, but this is, I'm glad he said that because I was thinking how do I bring this, this is the big question in this lesson. Why am I saying that's not right? Oh, I know. I got the Yes. The potential dangers Good. of mining okay. sapphires. Okay. Now, what's the difference between what we said first and what he said second? The first one said the sentence. Right. This is not a topic. This, and this is where this comes in. Mining sapphires can be dangerous is our next step, okay? Remember this little, there's a little um, way to check this that I gave you the other day, and it's on here, and I'm, that's why I left the middle of the board blank, because I'm gonna write it up here again. Use the this paragraph is about test, okay? So with each of your answers, if you say this paragraph is about, Mining sapphires can be dangerous. It doesn't make sense. This paragraph is about potential dangers of mining sapphires. Okay, that's a thing. The potential danger of mining sapphires is a thing. It's a lot of words, but it's a thing. Okay, another way to check that is you don't want a verb in the topic. And that goes back to our complete sentence. The topic is the answer to this. And this is on your homework. Okay. And this is why I like my two colored pens. Oh, I'm so glad they put this little thing here. But this is one of the hardest things for students to get used to. The topic is just a thing. It's not a complete sentence. Okay? So
so this is about the potential danger of mining sapphires. Mining sapphires and its dangers. Again, there are several ways to say that. Does that make sense? Okay. Anybody get anything different for that? This paragraph is about rock snow. <laughs> it's in there. But that's not it. Yeah, this, like I said, for some people, this is easier because you get to light down your own. And you don't have to depend on the Ron Fleming's choices. But for some people, this is harder because you have to come up with it yourself. Okay. Okay, what's the thing that makes this one easy when you, once you start reading, read the first sentence? Oh, step one. Yeah, this is, this one, when, when we get to this point in the semester and we see a paragraph like this, you kind of say, oh, whew, this is, I don't have to get in here and worry about, there's no um, reversal transition. You can pretty much figure out what the list is. In fact, you don't even have to do the list over here. It's pretty much done for you, right? Okay. It has, just like our very first reading, there are five reasons people buy things. You know, yeah, once you see this, this makes it easy when it's got a solid number in the first paragraph. Um, so step one, step two, step three. What are, so we glance through it, we say I see this list. What are these steps? What are they steps of? Uh, uh, procedures uh, procedures uh, for for um, successful interviews. Interviews. There you go. Okay. I'm always getting the recent sample of answers. Okay. So yeah, good interviews. Now here's another reason that you want to that I want you to keep doing this. Okay. When you're trying to figure out what the list is, um, be friendly, okay? Say your skills. I'm just doing reading paraphrases. And um, say you'll check back. Okay, so roughly, those are the three things. Be friendly, say your skills, tell what you can do and then say you'll check that, okay? Once you, this is what I've said to people in the, the thing I just handed back with the Rosa Parks and Claudette Coleman. A number of people got the idea in the annotation. They saw the reversal transition. They realized there were two parts. They realized what was going on. But then when they go for summary, they didn't check the summary against the annotation. If you, when you do that on the midterm, if you, again, you can tear things apart and just set it down right beside it. What's this in relation to this? If you have a list, if you've listed out the three things, and you have some kind of introduction to them, right? Some kind of introduction to the things you've listed, Okay, so that's what I'm kind of looking for. And I keep asking people, what is this a list of? Okay, here you could have underlined this, parts and Holden. So I'm kind of seeing, here's the title of this note, and here's the title of this note. Okay, so like we said, what is this about? Parks and Holden. So what is this about? Good interviews, yeah. Use this. This isn't just this isn't just for my entertainment to have you guys write this in the okay. This is gonna help you do this and it's gonna help you write your summary. Okay. Could I just put that there? Talk the topic is good interviews. It's not the best answer, but actually I would accept that. Okay? What what did people put for this? What what is this is about? Solid 
Okay? So this is the other way to say it. Three steps to good interviews. Good? Okay? Good. Or successful. Yeah. Okay? Not, there are three steps to doing a good interview. That's the main idea. Double check your work. Make sure you do not have, this is back to our sentences, I do not want the whole sentences here. Things. This is an important, it's midterm. This is an important shift in what we're doing. Okay. Does that make sense, people? Yeah. Good. Oh. Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> Does that make sense to you? What does uh, it Yeah, but um, I thought it could be phrased uh, three ways to land a job. Yeah, three ways. Okay, good. That's good too. Three ways to land a job. That, that um, does it. Again, don't, be, don't, don't correct something if what you have here is also right. This isn't the only way to say that. If that's what you put down, that's right. There can be as many different phrasings of this as there are people sitting here. But what you don't want here is um, something like, again, think in terms of our, back to our ghosts. I always use that ghost one. Don't um, say that the topic of this is checking back with an employer, right? That's just one of these. The importance of checking back with an employer. That's not the main idea. That's just one of these. The topic is not Mary Surratt's ghost, right? That's just one of the things. That was just one of the reasons that people say she's innocent, because her ghost says so. Now again, whether we believe it. <laughs> yeah, don't get hung up on these. And very often I'll say to you, when you write something down here, I'll say, you know what, this is just one of your things. You have to take in all of them when you do the topic. Okay. What about this one? What do we see mentioned throughout? Anybody? Gabriella, what do you see mentioned throughout this one? Yeah, Univision is what's mentioned throughout. What about this? Okay, here, this, people get mixed up on this one, okay? Spanish language television has two major broadcast networks, Univision and Telemundo, okay? We're giving, I, um, Gabriela is giving it the Spanish pronunciation. I'm trying to, but I'm not doing it very well. Um, the rest of us are going to say Univision and Telemundo, which isn't exactly right. Okay. Um, all right. So this, do we see a reversal transition? Uh, yes. However, Univision, however, claims the lion's share. When there's another one of those idioms. What does that mean? What does it mean to say when you see on claims the lion's share out of the Spanish speaking audience? More. More. It has the most. Have, have people heard that idiom before? That's one of those things that you can't really translate. The lion is supposed to be the king of the jungle. So if you know if an animal gets killed and the other animals are going to eat it, the lion is going to get the most of it because he's the king of the jungle. Then when he's done, everybody else can come and eat. Okay, that's where that came from. But it's an idiom. Something that can go on your blue sheet. Okay, so then do we see it mentioned Telemundo again? Is that ever mentioned again? No. But for some reason, the students tend to, you know, our same thing that we've been talking about. They read up to here and they say, oh, okay, this, you know, just like we looked at in the Rosa Parks thing, 
these are these two things look like they're going to be the topic. Then we see one and tell me But then we have to ask ourselves: Is this one ever mentioned again? No. So this is really about what? Is it about Spanish language television networks? Did anybody write that down? That's the most popular answer for this. Why is that wrong? <laughs> Ruthie, why is why is that not right? It's a, yeah, it doesn't really ever talk. It's really only talking about the one. Okay, but so it's about like the two major Spanish-speaking networks, right? No, nope. that's what we just said. Oh, so it's yeah about just one then. It's about one. Which one? The television or wait no the um what was that? Oh, the uni. Yes, it's Vision. about this yeah. one. Because this is what's uni. mentioned. Okay, so this is about this. What is it telling us about? The dominance. Okay, yeah. So you could put that here. This is a perfectly good answer. You could also put its dominance, its success, its popularity. Okay, and again, here's where the list helps you. If you start to make a list here, what is it, what are the things that it tells us about this? It claims the lion's share. Okay, so think in terms, what am I listing here? What's the next thing it talks about? What, yeah, it's programming. What does it show? Imports from, from Latin American countries. What does it show? Okay. The telenovelas. Okay. Yeah. What about this? What is this? Anyone ever watch this? Uh, I have a question. Yes, Mark has a question. I understand the Spanish word, la. This one? Yeah, la fea mas bella. Bella. Yeah. Bella. What does that mean? Is that from Ita Is that from Italy? Bella. Yeah, bella. The two L's are pronounced like a. But is that from Italy? No, that's Spanish. But those two languages are close. Okay. But that, that means beautiful in Italian, too, as well as mm -hmm. Spanish. It, some of the words are very similar. Because just like we've been talking about with English, they all come from those same roots. Okay? So, yeah. Okay? So this is one of them. La fea mas Boy, I'm really forgetting my Spanish. Okay. Um, it also has this guy, Ramos, okay, so yeah, it's telling us what it has, that's why it's done. So again, once you've done this, and this is what I ask you, what is this a list of? What, what are these things on this list? That's what I've been writing on people's. Because I'm hoping... Programs? What? A list of programs? No, because it's got this too. Oh. These, this is a list of what? <laughs> no. no. This is a list of the reasons. See what I'm saying? What you've made up here is a list of reasons. the reasons it's and dominant. the results of its dominance. This is how it is dominant. This is how we see on dominance. Does that make sense? You see what I'm saying? I'm, I'm really emphasizing the importance of this. And you're not, like I said, you're not just doing this just for exercise. This is going to be your answer. The notes, this annotation that you do is going to lead you to the answers that I'm looking for. Okay, 
that's but that's the connection here. Right. So would you could you write um, Univision's is very successful? Okay, let's look at that answer. language thing. When we look at these two, they say, well, it looks the same. But why is this apostrophe here? What is what is the reason for that apostrophe? Uh, because it's um, showing possession. Possessive. Okay. So this is a thing, the dominance of Univision. What's the reason for this apostrophe? It's that's a contraction. So this, what this says, now Mark, you're the one who asked the question here. So we're, lo we're looking at your answer, okay? Oh, it was actually Rosario, I'm sorry. It was Rosario <laughs> that asked that. Oh, Rosario, okay. This says, what this says, so this is a thing, Univision's dominance. But this is a sentence. Univision is very successful. So that's not a topic. Oh, okay. Does that okay. make sense? Yeah. Yeah, so, I've got and, it. And this is, I'm glad you said that because that's what people tend to do. They want to make this into a sentence. But we want to get this step down first about just picking out the topic. Okay. Okay. So. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we got be, it. We can move on. <laughs> yeah. There will be one question. It's not like. This is going to be, you know, the whole midterm. What you'll have on your midterm is the same kind of thing we have been doing, something like this. You'll have some questions, and there will be, on this one, you will have to write out, write it out yourself. Okay? And then write the summary. Does that make sense for Thursday? Turn these in. I will look at them, however much you got done, I will look at them and give them back to you as you are working on Thursday. Thank you. And I'll see you on Thursday with your complete eight-page journals in your hand. I'm ready to turn it in. Yeah, that can be right there. Ha, ha, ha.